very good morning everyone and welcome to the practice session of programming for problem solving this is the first practice session here in this video we are going to cover five different programs so these all these five programs are focused on the mathematical calculation mathematical expression which will require plus minus multiply or divide sign right so let us start with saving this program so i am saving it as so our first program is addition and subtraction of two entered variables so i am giving you name let's say math1 dot c right so let us first note down the general structure of any c program so include header files comes first then comes the global declarations but we will not uh, take care of global declaration at this stage then we have seen main function then start with the main function in next comes declare variables so i will just start with the main function now void main so i will also include header files first as per the sequence so hash include stdio stdio dot h hash include con io dot h so i have included these two header files right so start with the main function so void main then next comes declare variables declare variables so i have so first of all let us write down the aim of the first program so we are doing this program for addition addition and subtraction of two entered numbers whenever you perform any mathematical operations always remember that declare variables at float so declare variables as float for mathematical operations right that is multiply divide add subtract etc so for, i will require two variables a comma b later we can add other required variables followed by clr scr so next is you will be asking user to input any variable so next step is ask user for input so in this case we will require printf function so i am writing enter two numbers right so this will print as it is enter two numbers now i have to scan these two numbers using scanf we have already covered this printf scanf in our previous lectures so this is two numbers are of float so percent f first time followed by space percent f then double quote comma then first number you want is a again it is a float so ampersand a comma ampersand b always remember whenever you are using scanf you are so going to give ampersand before the name of the variable so ask for input next stage is process processing right so second stage is it is just like a input output model input process output so we have taken the input from the user now we are processing it so for that we are requiring some more variables that is let us say i have declared some variable for addition and sub variable for storing the subtraction so sum is equals to a plus b so what it will do 
suppose user provides the value of a as let us say 20 right user gives the value of 20 here for a suppose user gives value of b equals to 30 so the value of sum will be equals to 50 right so this this 30 plus 20 will be stored in sum okay so sum is calculated similarly the sub subtraction equals to a minus b followed by semicolon so this is the processing now the last stage is displaying output displaying output so i am to use printf function so simply you will type addition of two variables is equals to percent f double quote many times student only write this this much and they say sir program is not running it is not giving you output right so the common mistake is they do not provide which variable to print so here you have to provide which variable will be printed in place of percent f right so i have provided that variable so you can use backslash and over here then one more printf you will require for displaying subtraction it is up to you you can print addition and subtraction in one statement also but to easy out these things i have created two different printf statements so again it is percent f double quote complete then comma and then name of the variable which is to be printed this is displaying output part finally get ch it will wait for a character and then finally this curly bracket always remember that before running the program save it first so i have saved the program now run the program there is one error let us see what is that error again linker error so we have done something bad so it is not responding let us see where is that problem so let us check from the start hash include std io.h hash include con io.h it is correct so next is void main float a comma b comma sum comma sub it is again correct then clr scr then print f enter two numbers followed by semicolon then scan f percent f percent f double quote comma m percent a and m percent b it is also correct then processing so next is sum equals to a plus b it is correct sub equals to a minus b is correct so print f addition of two variables equals to percent f comma sum then subtraction of two variables equals to percent f comma sub then finally get ch you see here we have done the spelling mistake it is get ch that's why it is giving you that error again save that and then run the program now it is perfectly running now see i am entering the two numbers 20 and 30 you can see addition of two variable is 50.000 as you have declared percent f there that's why this is showing many uh, variables right so i will just write here percent point suppose 2f percent point 2f similarly here also percent point 2f then I am running the program again 30 50 you can see that it is now printing only up to two decimal places right 
so suppose if you want to clear whatever we have entered so you can also use clr scr here two times so it is not limitation that you can use only clr scr for only one time you can use clr scr for multiple times see so how it will execute let us say this is 40 and 30 so you can see that previous data is gone and only output is displayed addition of two variables equal to 70 subtraction of variables is 30 so in this way you can do summation and uh, subtraction right so this was the first practice example let us move on to the second practice example consisting of okay, let's first save this file so this is let us say program to dot c so the aim of this is calculation to write a program to calculate simple interest so this is the aim let us start with including header files stdio.h hash include con io.h then starts with the main function void main then declare variables so for calculation of simple interest again it will involve mathematical calculations so i am doing p as float n as float r as float and si variable to store the value of simple interest the declaration is complete then followed by clr scr so next comes take input from user so for that i will require printf enter the value for p All right so you can club everything into a single p n and r so user will provide the value so this string will get printed as it is on the screen since we have not uh, we have not uh, we do not want to print any value here that's why we are not going to provide any something like here something we just want to print this this text on the screen so next comes scanf scanf these three values so first for first value printf uh, scanf percent f then second percent f third percent f always remember f is not capital f is small everything in this language is in the small letters you can declare variables as capital like in this case we have declared si as capital right but other things are small in this compiler right so percent f is f is small then we are required three variables first is let us say uh, first you require p then give comma then n then give comma and then r so you can see that inside the double quotes in scanf function we are only providing percent f percent f percent f always remember you cannot provide uh, you cannot write percent point to f in scanf it will be always percent f so this is the part of taking or accepting inputs from user in the next phase processing whatever user has given you have to process so this process is simple is si is equals to how do we calculate simple interest so it is nothing but p star n star r p n r slash 100 in this way we calculate simple interest right so processing is only this much and final comes display output So for that you will require printf so the simple interest is equal to percent f 
double quotes complete now in this case you want to print the value of simple interest so that's why we have written percent f for here in the earlier statement there is no percent f enter the value for pnr because you are not displaying any value on the screen right it is just the text you wanted to display so in this case but you want to display the value of simple interest so that's why percent f because si is float comma si so this is the displaying output followed by get ch i am saving it before running it so let us now run the program enter value for pnr suppose p value is 10000 n is suppose 10 and rate of interest is suppose 7.5 so you can see that the simple interest is calculated 7500 so in this way you can do the program of simple interest right again you can display percent point to a four here just to print the two decimal place up to two decimal places ten thousand ten seven point five so it is now printing only up to two decimal places so this is the practice example second number in which we have taken multiplication sign as well as division sign plus minus we have taken in the previous program multiply and divide we have taken in this case right so then now we will move on to the next program so this is program 3 dot c so next program title or aim is write a program to swap two values entered by the user so what do you mean by swapping the values so let us say if a if variable a has value of 20 and variable b has value of 40 so your program must display a equals 40 and b equals 20 now you have to swap the values this is what is the aim of this program but in this case always remember that a variable can hold only one value at a time if you provide another value or provide or assign if you assign another value to the variable original value will get lost right so what is the meaning of this statement suppose your a is equals to 20 suppose you assign a is equals to 40 or something like or your b is having let's say 30 or 40 suppose you assign directly a is equals to 40 then what happens or a is equals to 40 or you assign a is equals to b then what will happen the value of b or value of 40 will get transfer to 40 and original value of a which is 20 will be erased right so we have to store that value of a to some other temporary variable right before it get lost so that's why we will be using one more temporary variable as temp in this case right so let us start with this program hash include stdio dot h hash include con io dot h 
then void main then i will declare variables as float a comma b comma temp so temp is a temporary variable you can give any name to this temp you can use c also right so this is a variable declaration part followed by clr scr next is take input then printf enter two numbers then scan these two numbers using scanf percent f space percent f double quote comma then followed by ampersand a comma ampersand b semicolon right this is the taking input from user followed by processing now how to carry out this activity first as i already mentioned that you have to first copy a variable into temporary variable right so once you have copied it the value of a will go in variable temp suppose user enters a is equals to 40 and a equals to 20 and b is equals to 40 then value of temp here will be 20 right always remember the value will move from right to left means value of a will be assigned to temporary right so temp the value of temp becomes 20 then as a variable copy is generated now i will copy the value of b into value of a so now the value of a is become a has become 40 right as you have copied value of b into a now original value of a which is 20 is lost right now next is you will assign the value of in temporary variable to b the value of temp is 20 so here b will become 20 right so in this way you have swapped the values of a and b so this is the processing part there is also one logic in which temporary variable is not required you can do it by addition and subtraction but that is a complicated logic at this stage right so we will do by this style only then next comes the displaying part display displaying output so it is simple printf double quotes numbers after swapping are a equals or you can have here backslash n a equals percent f and b equals percent f followed by a comma b right and then get ch i am saving it before running it alt r enter so i am now entering suppose 50 and 60 you okay there is one problem for b b is displaying zero so let us see what is the problem b is percent f a b and temp so there is some problem percent f percent f and a and b let us once again run the program there is could be a probably some error let us i enter for 20 and 40 again b is displaying as zero what is the problem let's check so you have copied the value of a right a b and temp then enter two numbers percent f percent f comma and percent a and percent b processing a is copied into b 
a temp variable then b is copied into a variable and temporary value is copied in b variable it seems correct so number of trust swapping let us see what it is printing i am just neglecting that part let us see what happens a then printf b equals to percent f double quote comma b let us see what happens again b is zero i think there is some compiler error part what i will do in this case i will restart the compiler right and we will check whether that error is gone sometime it happens in turbo c++ that it gives you incorrect output so to avoid that let us see restarting this now i have restarted this you can see the screen is same i am once again running let us check whether it runs or not many time it is it happens in turbo c++ compiler so let us check enter two numbers 50 and 40 now you can clearly see it has swapped the values right so sometimes do not get tensed just restart the compiler you will get the correct output so this is the third program the next program is we are going to do is separating float from okay, let us save the file first this is program number 4 dot c so aim of this program is separate separate out integer part and float part from a float number so meaning is suppose user user enters a number 4.567 then program will take out 4 into int part variable and float part which is 0.567 into f part variable so what you have to do if the user enters 4.567 so you have to separate out integer part of the number and float part of the number so how to do this the logic is very very simple you just have to required plus minus signs there is no difficult part in this once you overcome the problem of syntax errors once you get rid of the all the syntax errors you and you start understanding the meaning of the error messages you are confident enough in writing printf statement and scanf statement then next things come is developing logic which is very very important in programming when logic development starts from very very simple programs right so think about it till that time i will write the basic part of this void main so next is declare variables so i am declaring right now at this stage only the number which i will take input from user so i am writing that as number clr scr later i can add the variables then take input print f till that time you think how to how you will do this enter a single float number scan that number percent f comma and percent number 
again see you are using the same variable name capital small etc that is to be taken care of so now the number is scanned suppose user enters 4.567 right so the number variable the value of number variable is 4.567 right N now how to remove integer part or float part from this number so the logic is very very simple if you copy or let us say you uh, declare one integer variable as int i part you know, that is representing integer part right and one variable which represents float part which is declared as f part so in this case if you copy i am writing here if you copy float number into integer variable then only integer part will get stored in that integer variable what is the meaning of this suppose you provide integer that is let us say i part and you try to store 4.567 in this i part then it will not store 0.567 because it is declared as int so integer can store only 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 like that so what it will store it will store only i part is equals to 4 it will not store 0.567 it will not give any error right you are trying to store float number into integer number it will not give you error it will simply eliminate all those or neglect all the numbers after decimal places right it will only store that 4 so once you take out that integer part how to take out float part then so it is very very simple you just subtract this 4 from your original number that is 4.567 so if you subtract 4.567 five six seven minus four so it will give you ultimately zero point five six seven and you have successfully uh, separated float part now you just have to put everything in terms of variable names so let us do that now so how will you write the first statement so you integer part is given by i part is equals to the number is stored in number variable right so the decimal part will be truncated then your float part is equals to number minus i part right so now your float part is separated and it is stored in f part so this is the logic required or processing required for this so this is nothing but processing here processing logic and finally you just display the results display the results so for that you will require printf integer integer part of the given or entered number is equals to percent d because it is integer then comma it is i part right you can write here also comma float part is equals to percent f because it is a float so that comma and f part right we have to put percent d and percent f at appropriate places then get ch and then curly bracket i am just saving it program now run the program so i am entering suppose 5.876 so you can see that integer part of the entered number equal to 5 and float part is equal to 0.876 right 
so in this way you can uh, perform this separation of integer and float part from given entered float number so i hope you have understood till now if you feel any queries in between you can put in the comment box or you can directly mail me at untestedlearning at gmail.com let us move on to the fifth and last program of this video lecture practice lecture so the title of this program is to calculate area of circle again it is very very simple program number 5 dot c uh, aim is write a program to calculate area of circle then void main then for to calculate area i will require float for radius right r then you will require one variable area right then clr scr printf enter the radius of circle then scan f percent f comma m percent r now process so area is equals to pi r square right so nothing but it is right 22 by 7 star r into r right this is the process and finally display result so print f area of circle is equals to percent f comma area and get ch right so let us save the program and run the program suppose radius is 50 right so this is the area of circle pi r square suppose radius is 10 so why it is not giving you the correct output right so let us see once again if you enter 10 it is giving you 0 again alter 10 it is giving you 0 so i am just restarting this so it is showing you 300 but not 314 right so where is the problem so this 22 by 7 is the problem so first of all we will declare one variable we cannot directly use like this so i am creating one more variable as pi and pi equals suppose let us say 3 point you can also define the value of pi using uh, hash define preprocessor directive but we will not take this in this example we will be doing that in the next uh, lectures part right now i am directly giving the value of 3.14 to here and here i will simply write pi pi so let us say what let us run the program so radius of the circle is 10 it is again giving 0 where is the mistake is let us see let us once again run the program right so there could be any mistake now you can see area of circle is 314.199 likewise so in this case you can do various operations like 
multiply, divide, add, subtract, divide, etc. Right. So you can practice multiple programs like this. You can have a program to square a number. You can have a program to calculate some compound interest. Right. So my only suggestion is you practice this scanf function, printf function, because from next lectures the difficulty level will increase. And then from the next lectures we will be seeing how to develop the logic right so we cannot give more attention to the basic syntaxes of scanf or printf so in this week you practice the statements printf scanf the basic arithmetic operations plus minus divide multiply right so i hope you understood this part these five programs if you feel any difficulty you can comment or you can send an email to untwistedlearning at gmail.com right uh, thank you so much for watching and keep practicing thank you and have a nice day